Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. DICE gave me early access to three of the maps coming with Battlefield 1 Apocalypse on the community test environment. So this video is powered by Game Changers. Everything you see here is incomplete and still under development. It looks like Apocalypse will add at least six new guns and three melee weapons, not including weapon variants. Each class gets at least one new weapon, plus a new pistol that will be available across kits. First up, DICE has added a pretty peculiar weapon for the Assault class, the Shosha Ribirola 1918 Submachine Gun. It's a bizarre weapon based on the mechanism for the existing RSC 1917. It features a magazine capacity of only eight rounds and a fire rate on par with that of the Shosha Light Machine Gun. It's tricky to wield in Battlefield 1 as it has a small ammo capacity and the kick is hard to control. It has a semi-auto and full auto mode. There were two variants present on the build in the CTE, a factory variant and one with an optical sight. For the Medic class, DICE added the Howl Automatic Rifle. This weapon amounts to an automatic conversion of the venerable Lee Enfield. Developers paid extreme detail to the weapon's design, even including the gun's strange side sights. Thankfully, they also included AA sights for the gun, which helps in target acquisition. In-game, it features a 20-round magazine and a fire rate of 257 rounds per minute. Two variants are available in the game, a factory variant and a marksman variant with a scope. Meanwhile, the support class is getting some love with an excellent light machine gun in the form of the LMG-0818. This gun boasts a fire rate of 600 rounds per minute. That puts it on par with the BAR and just below the 700 rounds per minute of the Parabellum MG-1417. Two variants were present on the CTE, a low weight version with a 100 round magazine size and a suppressive version with a 200 round magazine. For scouts, DICE is adding two different rifles. The first is the Ross Mark III Marksman. This Canadian straight pull rifle featured a five round integral magazine and a fire rate of 62 rounds per minute, according to the in-game stats. Because of its straight pull design, players don't need to pop out a scope to chamber around, making your follow-up shots easier. The second scout weapon is the M1917 Enfield Infantry variant. This bolt-action rifle features a unique rear sight picture and a fire rate of 80 rounds per minute, which is the same as the new Carcano rifle. The M1917 Enfield features a six-round integral magazine and is fed by five-round stripper clips. DICE actually included the proper reload animation by manually loading the last round. Apocalypse also looks to add a new sidearm, adding what DICE calls the Revolver Mark VI. The six-round top-break pistol reloads with a six-round clip. The new DLC also adds three new melee weapons to Battlefield 1, and they are particularly brutal. The first is a broken bottle, which is exactly what it sounds like, and it embodies what we've come to expect for Apocalypse. My personal favorite was the medieval-looking pry bar. This weapon looks totally vicious and like something from another era. The other melee weapon is a meat cleaver, of which I was unable to grab any footage, unfortunately. It's just as well, however, as some of the new Apocalypse content will be hitting the CTE for all players this weekend. Visit reddit.com slash r slash battlefield underscore live for the latest on CTE sessions and to leave feedback for developers. So, what are your thoughts on what we've seen so far for Apocalypse? Which weapons are your favorite? And are there any others you'd like to see? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Share on social media like Facebook and Twitter, and make sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash flackfire. As always, thanks for watching.